is up, Ram fam? Good to see you guys. Uh, we're back here. We're live today on this beautiful Thursday, even though it rained all day. Um, to do some more Elden Ring. To finish the Volcano Manor, I also got wind of a little quest that we can do um, to hunt down four bell-bearing sons of bitches. I didn't know about this, but I'm, we're going to find out if it's real. I wrote some notes. Just scroll through and I find things and I'm like, damn, I got to try that shit. William Harris, hello, how are you doing? And you are on first today. You've learned you got to be fast some of these days to, <laughs> if you want to get there uh, before everyone else. Cheers. Thank you for the like. See? I called that. I knew that was coming. Thank you, William Dodge, for the like and share as well. Double cheers. And this is how awesome William is, Mr. Harris. He's here right now first after being up for 24 hours. He probably hasn't slept since the <laughs> last stream. That's impressive, good sir. Hats off. <laughs> um, but just that healthy reminder we like to do here. If you're watching for the first time, even if you're watching after the stream is over, please do drop a follow. We did get another one when we were offline yesterday. We're up to 281. It's going to say 280 at the top today, but that's off by one. For some reason, it doesn't update unless I'm live. I don't know. Uh, but if you've been here before, do what William did. Drop a like, drop a share, a comment, um, stars, whatever you feel like doing. If you're over there on YouTube, thanks for watching. Drop a sub if you're new and a like if you're not. So, let's get to her. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, we got some interesting stuff here. Supposedly, there's these four bell-bearing guys. They're supposedly tough. You get pretty good stuff for killing them. So we're going to chase them all down, hunt them, and uh, see what's good. And I looked it up. I lost 50,000 runes here yesterday when my Mimic won the fight for me after I died. I'm a little peeved. Uncanny, what's up, brother? How are you doing? Cheers. Kick some Mars. Hell yeah, you know I'm gonna do it. I just can't get cocky like I did yesterday. Oh! That could have been ugly. Like I did yesterday. I get myself killed. Let's see. Maybe I'll live if I jump down here. You think I'll live? Let's find out. Okay. I didn't live because it's not a location you were meant to be, but I think I would have otherwise. William finally got to the dentist. They didn't um, do anything as he got an infection. Oh, no. They want me to wait until December to have the tooth removed? Oh, shit. That sucks. Uncanny 50k, bro. <laughs> Need me 50k. I do, too. What I did is I thought, so this elevator must go up. I thought maybe it was down because I can see the bottom. I'm like, that's a that's a fallable amount for me. I've got the long cat tail talisman. Wink, you know what that means. So anyway, I don't take damage when I fall. I thought I could make it. Like if you fall, I'm either dead or no damage. And uh, turned out it's not a space I'm supposed to be in. But the 50k I lost, I feel like, is a manageable amount. I can get that back. 50k real dollars, though. Yeah, I need that bad. I'd pay off all my loans unless Senior Biden uh, cancels them all for me. Student loans. They keep talking about it, but I think they just talk about it to like make people feel better, like they're going to do something, but they're not going to do anything. So... Oh well, that's all right. I'm gonna go do an emergency dentist as soon as uh, it's better and get them both removed. Can't keep popping painkillers. I'm doped up right now. Oh, so you're having fun? Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, that's it's hard to live day to day and do uh, your work and everything you got to when you have to be on painkillers just to survive. 
No one wants that. So I wouldn't blame you. You know, sometimes going to a different doctor is a good thing just to get shit done. Because, uh... Like, I went to... Oop. Hey. I went to, uh, eye doctor. It was the first time I had seen the eye doctor because, um... I hadn't been to an eye doctor in a few years at that point. Um, and this guy was the closest one to me. So I was a brand new customer to him. He's a doctor, he knows better than me, but also he's a businessman running a business trying to make money. And so I went in there and I was like, hey, good to meet you. Thanks for seeing me for the first time. Uh, I want LASIK. Basically saying, I want to get my eyes fixed, and I'll never come back. <laughs> so I got to assume as a businessman, he didn't like me. He said, uh, oh yeah, you're going to want to wait at least a year before you do that. Just in case your eyes change again. We don't really know since it's the first time you've been here. They didn't change. Just a way to keep me a little bit longer. And so I was like, well, you know, he does know more than me. He's a doctor. So I waited a year. And then after that, I didn't go back to him. I went straight to the LASIK people. They said, up, oh, everything looks good. Let's go. Zip zap. Perfect vision all year. And it's been fantastic. So sometimes you just got to go to a different doctor. What is that? Interesting. I saw the ghost of the guy coming over here. Got refused coding today. I was like, what? I got severe toothache. Give me strong stuff. Huh. I've never, you know, I've never really had any real painkillers. Never had to. So I don't know what they, what do they prescribe that for generally, what don't they? I think the worst thing I've ever taken is Tylenol. I just don't really like them, if I can live without them. Especially considering issues people have with some of them trying to get off them. Oh. I never want it to be me. God damn it. But when that, uh, if you did get those, have you had those before? Don't they fuck you up real bad? Like you're like as silly as a goose. Goose level silliness. They were like, We got Hasprin. Gave me that and said, no, ain't nowhere near the pain relief I need. Oh, that sucks. Really? Aspirin? Like, I can't fucking concentrate over here, doctor. The pain is so incredibly bad, and they're like, how about we give you the smallest amount of the weakest thing we have? And if it's real bad, you can come back next year. <laughs> no, doc, no. That sucks. Well, I guess it's time to hit the streets for you. You can get whatever you need in Detroit. Son of a bitch. Don't like that.
like the result of that. That's exactly why I'm not waiting until December to be, uh, I'd be addicted by, <laughs> to coding by then. Yeah, exactly. My insane offered me morphine. Oh, jeez. I was like, no, even, <laughs> even though that would be a uh, hell of a pain to lose. Doesn't that make you trip balls? Like, morphine, like, makes you see shit. I had a buddy. Oh, man. This is high school? High school, maybe senior year, so we're about 18. Um, what do you have? Is his appendix taken out or something? So I went and saw him post-surgery. And, uh... They had him on morphine. And he was... Speaking with a Russian accent. He's from the Midwest. He's 100% not Russian. It was so funny. He thought. <laughs> he really thought. That's who he was. What's annoying is coding and aspirin cost, um, a, what, about the same? Anyway, so I was gonna pay, grab some tomorrow, either buy them or get my mate to grab some of uh, his nans. Nans are the prescription dealers, I swear. They get loads of drugs and never take them. There's a lot of people like that. Oh, for sure. Um, I know my dad growing up had a lot of health problems going on, so he got painkillers and stuff like that. He had a surgery and he had morphine that they gave him, but he never took it once. I think it sat there for so long it went bad, but we still like gave it to the police and everything after um, he no longer needed any of the stuff. So. Yeah, he said he'd never take I think he took it once a long time ago when he was a kid, and he said he'd never take it again after that. Did not like how he felt. I kind of learned from that. I was like, I don't know. Like, unless I'm put under and they put that on me before I wake up, I don't know if I would take it. I like to know what's going on. <laughs> That's funny. I swear it's prescription, I swear. <laughs> holy shit, holy shit, holy shit, holy shit! What in the Sam Hain hell is this? like that. Don't like that at all. Yeah, some people just um, keep getting them even if they don't take them. The doctor prescribes them. They get them just in case it's so bad that they can't handle not having them. Trap ahead. I assume this is a boss or something. So I got more shit to check out before we go in there. Uh, and then, if they're lucky, they never need them. Forget those guys. Oh, on the statue, I didn't even see that. Holy shit! Why is it all a snake? It's 
weird they uh, push free painkillers on you instead of letting you buy the stronger stuff? It is interesting. Well. Oh, who was it? Johnson? Was it Johnson and Johnson? Over here, makes a bunch of those painkillers and opioids and whatnot. I don't know if opioid's kind of an ugly term or what, but, uh... They got sued for a couple billion dollars by the U.S. government for creating something that was so addictive to so many people. Putting it out there, I mean, our government anyway approved it, so they're kind of almost as much to blame. Feels like a made up reason to get some money. Not that I don't think that they should get in trouble for creating something that's uh, so addictive and created so many problems for so many people. But, uh, I don't know. Both sides are really just as bad to blame. Okay, I feel confused. place is a logistical nightmare. Okay. I came from here. through here. I don't know that I fell down. I think I just came through. I gotta jump off. I'm trying to retrace my steps so I kind of just remember where I'm going and where I've been. And I took that elevator down right away. Took the secret door. And opioids too. Ooh, crimson tear scare. Let's see what that does. Probably replenishes. And opioids too. I just don't want to move on to them if I can help it. They get you hooked quick. Is it really fast? I assume it was. I, I don't know though. Red scare born directly on the head. The red scares roll clumps of crimson tears during their labors. Slightly increasing the recovery effect of... Oh. What more damage was taken? Okay. Okay. I get all of it now. That's why, like you said, you only want to just take care of the problem if you can. Too bad uh, that infection is there. So why can't they just remove it with the infection there? Does it just make things worse? Is that the only reason why not? Most are, I think, just hard uh, to make those not addictive because of what they are. Oh, that's probably true. That's probably true. A 
mean, people like to get messed up, and that's one way to do it. So, of course, of course, anything that gets you uh, feeling loopy like that. So I guess the challenge would be, how do you make something that numbs pain that doesn't also completely screw you up? Cheers. That ladder was there the whole time. Okay. Well, I think I've checked out everything then. I think I was, uh, I think I was lucky enough to get one hour of sleep in the past 30 hours. Oh, because of the pain? You can't sleep through it because of the pain? Can you booze your way through it? Can you just start downing uh, some whiskey? I theorize that it would both take uh, some of the pain off help you sleep, because it would just straight up knock you out. Oh, thank you, other me. Better me. snake boy to be fair you should get some CBD pain relief maybe a better idea it's not gonna uh, get you addicted could be um, I know some people have used it for like their pets um, I think we used it on our dog the last year or so before she passed and would help her relax a lot. Uh, and there's several other people I know who did it and it seemed to have good effects on animals anyway. Pretty sure you feel basically nothing, so... From what I understand. Shifty spot. Ed, thank you very much for the like. Cheers. How are you doing? It works until you're sober, then once you're sober, it's ten times worse. I'm actually gonna give up my carbonated drinks once it's dealt with. Coke is so bad for teeth, and I drink a lot of it. Yeah, that's a good idea. I, uh. I pretty much gave up, like, regular soda drinking for the most part a few years back um, and honestly once you give it up for a while like it doesn't even taste as good after you give it up for a while and you kind of mentally you're understanding how detrimental it is to you your teeth your health um, it, it has no positives other than it tastes good so once you kind of mentally get past the it tastes good thing. You don't even think it tastes good anymore. It's like how, you know, some people quit cigarettes or something and you'll see them say, I don't even think they taste good or smell good or anything anymore. Same concept. So... 
Once you give it up for a while, you'll be perfectly fine without it. Just drink milk water or juice from now on, safer that way. Yeah, you gotta watch it with the juice too, because some of that shit's just as sugary as soda. That sugar is what's uh, tearing you apart. Carbonation will give you a bit of a belly too. So if you can slow down on carbonated drinks, that's good. I like to drink a lot of milk, but then you gotta be careful. Because if you're lactose, and you can become lactose late, then you can't even drink milk. The older we get, I feel like our choices of drinks become less and less and less. Our juice is different than yours. Most of ours is natural juice, not like the Kool-Aid. Oh. I mean, we got a lot of other stuff besides Kool-Aid, but yeah, most of our stuff is very sugary. I think, um, if I remember right, in America we have like a super bad sugar problem where like just everything has an immense amount of sugar in it. Please land. And fortunately we eat so much sugar that things just taste like crap without it. again. Don't like that. We got sugar laws here? Um, at first I thought it was dumb, but it actually works for us. Well, that's awesome that you guys have that. I wish we had something like that. Oh, shit. Not again. Oh, sorry. I missed that one. Did it uh, like nine months before and got... Back to drinking it, now I'm gonna stick to it. Ooh. Defo not lactose, body craves milk. Oh, uh, that's how I am. I swear though, like, I grew up on it. From a, like, a dairy community. And I swear, if I have too much, it gets to me. We got a sugar issue. We got a chocolate issue here. Everybody loves their chocolate, especially Prepper Cadbury's. Everyone just loves chocolate in general, right? Let's take me right back to the beginning. Oh, wow. Um... And what I think else is kind of cool, since we were talking about it earlier, is that you guys, pretty much the rest of the world, except for us in New Zealand, uh, you were saying about the sugar laws, reminded me of, like, nobody else um, advertises meds, drugs, or anything like that of any kind. I think that's wild. That's, I mean, I think a really good thing. That's like half of our advertising. TV stations wouldn't know what to do without it. Speaking of, we are T minus 14 minutes to the NFL draft. 
So that's exciting. Speaking of, what was this? Oh, I can put it on my phone. I might do that. Just listen to it. Chris Collinsworth. I gotta listen to him the whole time. Chris Collinsworth, if you don't know, is like the king of creating hidden sexual innuendos during football games. He's the guy who's saying, like, you gotta pound it right through the hole, and um, and these are real things they say, by the way. None of, none of this is false. It's all, all real stuff that they get away with, and they know what they're doing. Come on. These guys are football players. They were jocks. They're dirty. It's hilarious. Um, and I don't know what else Hello again. Well, I can think of, but uh, so many good things. So many good things. You'd have to look it up. If you follow the hit cannot. No. And she has no has she gone off in why won't she just may i ask not as the manners proprietor if she discovers the answer to have her drink to purge that yes my wish is no different than the that i've no choice my wish that i've no you can get uh, actual cadbury's there from here Sounds try it every american goes crazy I don't know if I've ever had one. Try it with proper English grade milk. Hmm. Yeah, I'll try it if I can find it. You're tarnished. Here's put the demigods to the sword. Then please. To one devoured praetor. I left the serpent slaying spear in the Lord's chamber. Worthy tarnished. Brandished the great serpent. To Rikard's ambitions, that they were reduced to gluttonous depravity. Once, he, whatever that thing is, someone to spare him. Worthy tarnished, it is the run it through. Worthy tarnished, it is the only run. I gotta grab that spear in the Lord's room. It's the only thing that can kill him. You still have. Okay. Well, I remember that. William, you're seriously de uh, debating going vegan within the next year? I feel like it would be the healthiest option for your body. Probably would. Probably be a huge shock to your body. Having to suddenly switch and learn um, that type of food. Whatever it's used to getting suddenly not being there. Okay. Gotta figure out how to get around, because I need to get back up there. There's two items. There's an item in a doorway. This place is a little bit of a nightmare to maneuver. Well, I've thought about the vegan thing before, but I couldn't give up meat. So I just try to eat more um, vegetables and fruits and less garbage. 
They can, instead of vegan, just cut the garbage as much as possible. Which, honestly, is the best tasting things. Garbage. I love a bag of chips. Greasy, salty chips. Doritos. I don't even know what that flavoring is that's on it. What the hell is that shit? Same with Cheetos. It's all terrible, terrible crap, but delicious. So... Cutting that out would be huge. That was easier. I feel like it'd be... I don't know what vegan food tastes like. They say it's a lot better now than it ever used to be. So I still feel like it'd be just awful. But... Oops. Tofu actually has a lot of really good protein for you. So there's something full other side. There's something down below me, which I might be able to just drop down on. Oh, that's kind of a risky fall. And something below the one over there. How to get over there? It's hard when you can't see anything in the room. Shit. I need a horse. A horse, of course. Yeah, sounds crazy nice, especially if you learn uh, to make it yourself. Most of my friends are vegan now, so try a lot of vegan food, and it's better than it used to be. I've never tried any. I've never tried any, so I have no idea where I would be at it, at with it, taste-wise. Um, I know a lot of people, like super athletes, uh, are vegan and they swear by it. Arnold Schwarzenegger turned vegan in the last, I don't know, so many years. Dude's still a fucking tank and he's like 80. He's like 82, 84, somewhere in there. And he said the reason he's able to maintain is because he switched to being vegan. So I don't know. Maybe there's something to that. Maybe these people are, uh, correct to some degree because they're not exactly endorsing anything they just say that's the lifestyle they do and it uh, helps them stay healthy young 
athletically fit. It's really down to are you getting the proper nutrients? Are you getting all the vitamins you need? Are you getting the protein? Are you burning the right amount of calories each day for what you're taking in? If you're doing all those things, you're going to be healthy and spry for a lot longer than the average person. Not that it's not going to be a pain in the ass for a while. Nice, the magma blade. I was doing calling some of it after uh, meats. Yeah, they should stop calling them meats when they're not meats. Let's not call the Impossible Burger um, meat when it's not. You know? Hey, Walt, buddy, how are you doing? Thanks for the like. Hey! Uh, I'm going to say that the Bears are going to take Justin Fields with their first overall pick this year. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I'm right. Oh, hold on. I actually have to do the cheers. Cheers. Who are the uh, who are the Packers taking at one and two? Well, not one and two, but you know what I mean. They're two picks. What picks are they? They're like 25 and 27 or something like that? Are they getting two receivers? Are they getting a receiver and an offensive line? Also, who's going first? Trayvon Walker? Is it gonna be Aiden Hutchinson? Is it gonna be that offensive tackle I can't think of? Honestly, I don't know the first round as well as I usually do because we have no pick. I mean, if we trade up, if we trade up, we're trading Robert Quinn and one of our second rounders purely for uh, Olave or Wilson, the two Ohio State receivers. It's the only way we're trading up. Trading up with a... Um, linebacker who nearly got 20 sacks last year. I think take a big guy first in WR28. Ooh, shit, Walt. Just dropped me 100 stars. Holy shit. Cheers. Thank you very much. Hell yeah. I think the pack take the uh, big guy in the first round. Wide receiver 28. I saw the Packers have uh, was it the second or third most draft picks. It was like teams that don't even need it. It was um, the Chiefs, Packers, the Ravens, the Chargers were four of the top seven teams uh, with the most draft picks that super didn't need those draft picks. Um, but the Texans and Jaguars were up there too, and they definitely need them. So. Oh, I made it. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of good offensive linemen, right? What's the wide receiver you want, though? You want, what, Pickens? Who's going to be there that way? Because I don't think Olave or Wilson will still be there at that point. I want Burks, but unless they take him at 22, they won't get him. Who's at 22? You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking that there's a high probability 
that somewhere between three and five quarterbacks. And none of them are worth this, but I still think it'll happen. Um, three to five quarterbacks are going to take taken in that first round, and it's going to leave a lot of actually really good, talented players for the rest of the league. So that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking some people make some mistakes, and it's going to be great because all that overflow. Because there's like. Almost two rounds of first round talent this year, right? I'm thinking all that's going to overflow in the second round. And the Bears, we got two first round picks. We're going to get some guys who are um, people in a normal year you would never get access to. So I'm kind of happy with us keeping our two seconds. But the only two guys, Olave and Wilson, I would be happy with us trading up for him. I don't have a choice, so I'm going to be happy no matter what. Burks looks fucking good, though. That Drake London looks super good. Lave Wilson. I think there's a couple more. There's like five or six guys who could go in the first round at wide receiver, and then even more who are um, good enough that they'd probably be a first uh, in any other year. You'll have to uh, give me some updates. Who's getting picked when? You want to make a bet? Well, I'll bet you five drinks. That the first pick is... Um, oh, I've already blinked out his name. That defensive tackle. The Lions biff their pick, take Malik. I'm just kidding. They'll probably take Aiden Hutchinson or whatever his name is. Um, I really don't know the names as well as they usually do. Curious what the pa uh, Patriots, um, Steelers do. Are they gonna take a receiver? Are they gonna take a quarterback? And take an offensive lineman? Quarterback, I think, is what they're gonna do, most likely. After uh, Haskins. I take that bet on the first pick. I'll text you when the uh, <laughs> text you when you lose. It's gonna be a fun one. Enjoy, sir. Catch you on the flip. Cheers. Cheers. I don't think I'll lose because the Jaguars general manager is Balke or whatever. Balk. That man loves to screw up. I have faith. He's going to screw up. Whatever would be the dumbest thing to take at number one overall, he's going to take. Guaranteed.
serpent. This is an incredible boss. And a good fight. I'm feeling a little easy. Too easy. Whoa, what's happening? You're supposed to be dead. Whoa, what are those hands? What in all that is heaven is that? What the? That was in there the whole time? Not what I signed up for when I joined the manor. No. not been a challenging fight.
Ooh. Jaguars around the clock. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Walt, who was just sitting here, texted me. Bet you two drinks. They, uh... Boo Goodell, if you don't know, he's the commissioner of the NFL and everyone hates him and they boo him every single year and every single year he comes out. And... So he said, oh, two drinks, you lose, cheers. to leave this place? Okay. Is this where I came in? I don't know where, uh, the nice snake lady who's human sometimes looking could have gone. I think there's two abductive virgins here that I had to beat. How did I end up in here? I'm really confused of the, uh, the layout of this place. But also, where is the snake lady?
That legitimately scared the shit out of me for a second. Hold on. Let me look up where she went to. I might be too late. I might have screwed the pooch on this quest. Legacy Dungeon Interior. Okay, so there's a wooden elevator next to this. Ooh, I was right about that first pick. Getting off at the hidden doorway just below the lifts. The highest point, head straight through the room, out a window. Jump across the lava flow, she's inside the room directly across. Well, that's fucking shenanigans, because I was definitely mostly likely there. So supposedly, um, I screwed the pooch by not talking to her first. Whose quest, uh, Rhea, before beating Rickard or whatever, but supposedly there'll be an item there. She's still here. It's you. I walked I'm right past her. There is high was an unwanted child. Something that can never be accepted. Even Lady Tanis should find her. So you have done. But I wish to ask, kill me. I thought that I feared nothing. But this is the curse. Yeah, you know they the like. I am to change Jeez. this. This may be from the big update that they did. How delightfully sweet. Maybe the wikis aren't correct anymore now that there's that massive update. I walked right past her to this rope ladder like six times. She wasn't there for me before, Rickard, or I missed her completely multiple times. I don't know what the case is. I'd have to go back and watch the film. How are you doing today, Douglas? Cheers. Had to uh, message my buddy Walt, who was just in here. He, uh, we had a bet on the NFL draft who was going to go first. And I won. You, it's true then. No. I must thank you. Defeat is not the end. Our Lord is immortal until then. I will leave. I suggest you. I will miss these. The champion who walks the tainted path. I always was. This is perhaps. 
really hoping I'd get to face their guard. My thanks. You're welcome. So, I harbor you no ill will. Just even he was prepared to meet a wretched end when he first toured any road. The volcano man, though we may yet fall, we hunted our own kind and with everything in hand. The time has come to rot. Oh, great and will, I am the recusant Bernal. Inheritor of who refused to become your pawns. Oh, great and will, I am the recusant Bernal. So the snake lady come back. They're gone. seem well. <laughs> Perhaps a tarnished will be held for now. This the demigod beast is slain, and Tanith has lost her head. A fine mess. But how else could it end? When Daddy Ambition's head is ambition. courting Lady Blasphemy. <laughs> well, yeah. bye, my friend. What is it? Oh, come to make a parting donate. St Stingy little bugger. Oh, I came through that door. I for sure did. Hmm. Okay. Well, I kind of want to go talk to her again. See if anything's changed. Well, I don't know. Maybe it has. Maybe it hasn't. Douglas, did you leave me, buddy? Volcano Manor was a really cool place. Kind of ends a little sad, you know. You got all these people, and by the end, they're all just like, "Ah, right, well, cool." The card's that I'm out. Cheers. Nope, and now she's gone. gonna look one more time if she's back because like I think I'm supposed to get something for her returning to the manor maybe I'm screwed out of that since her mama's gone oh here she is Oh, heaven knows. But Lady Tanith. And all feels rather quiet without old you here. I await. I am her daughter. I do not wish to burden brave Tarnished. I'm certain that this. I, I am her. I do not wish brave Tarnished. I'm certain. Alright, gonna rest and see if she gives me the item. Or maybe because her mom's gone. I won't get it. Maybe I should have just killed her. Oh. There it is.
increases damage taken, that's all. Wow. I feel like that was something I was really forcing through, and that's what I got. Interesting. All right, so now there's bell-bearing monster guys that have come out. Anyway, so we're going to try to hunt down these things. Warmaster Shack is the first one. So supposedly, if you sleep till night, you leave, or you sleep till night, stand up, sit back down at the gray, stand up, they'll come out, and they'll try to kill you. Sam, thank you for the like. Cheers. How are you doing? So I've pretty much found all four locations where these guys are. It works. That was one. The isolated shack. Would do the same thing. Sam, thank you for the shares as well. Cheers. Okay, this one's a little tougher. No question tonight. Oh shit, you're right. You're gonna have to give me a second, my dude. Thank you for the heads up. I was on late, so I was a little flustered and didn't get things quite uh, going too right. In the middle of a move, and was trying to set up my modem and router at the other place. It takes forever. This guy straight up isn't here. It's the only reason I'm here, JK, JK. Ouch. That's not a bad reason, though. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Appreciate that. I'll cheers to that right now. Cheers. So who are the New York Jets about to draft? NFL drafts happening right now. Pretty big stuff. You got a defensive tackle. Defensive end and a cornerback. Probably the toughest boss battle I've had in a long time. He didn't do that move to me before. 
Nothing but salt fills these veins right here after that move. That was kind of annoying. I was pretty far away. That son of a bitch. Well, Samuel, trying to do this fight, I hope I remain your favorite streamer, because this fight is brutal. I'm going to say if I can't beat him in five tries. Ooh. 100 stars for the emotional trauma caused by a joke. Oh, thank you. For emotional trauma, I caused by my joke. Hell yeah. I'll choose to that in a second here. What the f- The darn fader shit is that? No! The range! The range! It's so high. Cheers. Thank you. Really appreciate that, Sam. I'm gonna need it for the emotional damage I'm about to take. Sounds better when she says it. She is fun, isn't she? I'm like super frickin' beefy too. Oh. A guy nicknamed Sauce just got drafted to the Jets. Oh no! I didn't pick up my 100,000 runes. That fucking sucks. I'll just pick up my zero runes here. How did I completely blank out on that. I can't believe that I just did that. Such a dumb mistake. Probably because I got the draft on. Distracting. I don't think I can take this guy on. He's taken everything from me. <laughs> He's probably worth like 2,000 runes once this is over too. I'm super sad. Depressed. Devastated. In complete and utter ruin. From facing that loss. <sighs> Big time depressed. God damn it. I knew I should have just pumped a few runes in so I couldn't screw that up. And, uh... Level up. Nah, I was being cheap. Hey, 
Hey, could you fucking not for a second? Hey, could you? Oh, I'm done with this guy. What a struggle fest. Alright, I'm just gonna mark this place on the map. Well, there's two other ones. I'll, in complete sadness, go and try to See if uh, I can kill this one. <sighs> what a f Souls game type of depression they put you through. Hello, senior giant turtle, Pope of the Turtles. Don't need absolution. I'm all good. Greetings. All things can. In the end, Lady Renala. Now she devotes the grim. You would do severing a vow. You know, it's said that Lord Radigan, a famed sculptor of the Earth Tree capital, was once summoned to when he glimpsed the skeleton in Radigan. And as such, it's said that the great statue. Ah, pilot, has been really mindful of the serenity and take care. Those would be great things to buy if I had money. I had runes. And then just throw them all away. I don't just let these things down for myself. I need to never go into any kind of a boss fight that I know is there again. Well, I have runes. Always get up to the next level, then dump them. I was safe behind that thing. Not safe. Not safe at all. I don't know why I went Italian for that. But I have nothing to lose now. Cheers.
so fucking annoying. I hate these guys now. It is taking me just a small amount of time of just playing around with these guys to go, oh, they're bitches, they're pushovers, they're nothing, to, I never want to fight them again. The one in Caleb broke me as a person. I'm emotionally damaged now from going after the ball bearing hunters. That's the Elden Ring effect, though. Kayla! Thank you for the hundred stars. I feel better now. It's like... What the fuck? Before he had two whoosh whooshes and then a slam. Not a whoosh 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 slam. What is this? Lord of the fucking whoosh over here can fucking... Yeah, just... I'm done. <laughs> I, I hate these guys so much. So much! This one's gonna die. This one is going to die. Cheers, Kayla. I'm gonna cream this thing's corn before it's done. And then we'll move on. Not before. I feel like uh, I've had a full week of just being dominant and unopposed in this game. And it's just driving me fucking nuts now that these things are wiping the floor with me. No, no, no. far now. You can't do that. <sighs> Vengeance. That is a absolutely garbage amount of runes. Oh. I hate them. Ah, uh, ball bearing hunter. Douglas? Hey, you missed it in your time off there. I lost basically a full level up to one of those bastards. The one in Kaled. I'm, I'm quite uh, depressed. I kind of wish I never learned that they were a thing. These guys. Hmm. We'll get their armors though. I'll have to duplicate. As many of these other ones as I can. They look super interesting.
be nice if I had uh, the other hundred thousand runes to buy this shit. I'm just gonna buy it all. I'll about do it. What the fuck are you? Nicola of his twin, Melania, Luna Princess Land. The one Rani has said to saw here that if you should learn anything, then I'll trade you. We both do as such. I understand you've been speaking to my daughter. I took her in when she lost the guidance of Grey. No, a mere axe wielding barbarian. So I put it to do not hesitate to employ her. Despite her looks, she is. Allow me to tender some advice in regard to the find the Albinoric. She hides in a cave to the west of the Laskia ruins, which jut from the mist-shrouded lake of Leonia. She knows the location of the medallion's counterpart. I... Laskia ruins? Say east, I thought he said east. Oh, right here. Well, find the Albinora. She hides in a cave to the west of the Laskia ruins, which jut she knows the rock. Okay. The west of the ruins. Hmm, that could be a few different things. Guess we'll see. I give all these bell bearings and I don't know what I'm getting for them. I don't feel like I'm getting anything. I don't know. I like how there's the flies around the dung eater too. Hilarious. Dude's not looking too hot. Greetings, Edith. I can hear it through the howling. You should keep your distance. I know you. Well, I took you, man, man, to lay out your own. Hmm. All right. Let's
Mask of Ruins. Cave to the West. I'm looking for somebody who can tell me about these ancient medallions. Guess I never found this cave. I don't think. Oh, maybe I did. Is this the right cave even? for donating your runes um, to the makeup effort as we have lost many many runes ourselves who's supposed to talk to me about medallions oh this lady I told the all hearing brute already that I possess no such medallion or have you come Cheers. to take more from me was my other half not enough oh. do you speak true so old Albus entrusted his medallion to you then I have no choice but to trust that this was his dying will. Let's try again. I'm Latena, an Albanoric, the same as old Albus. My apologies for my coarse words earlier. I don't remember who Albus was. Seeing the worst, seeing that you're another tarnished like that old hero brute. I hope that you will forgive me. Hmm. The medallion's better off. Would you consider doing me a great service? Go back. There is something I must do. 
Even if I must say farewell to my wolf, Nobla, will you show me the way? To the land of Nicola's Hayrick tree. If you accept, I would gladly apprise you of the whereabouts of the medallions of the hut. Thank you kindly. They say the other half of the medallion is beyond the forbidden lands north of the herb tree. In Castle Sol, on the mountain tops of the giants, accessible by the grand lift of Rold. Then I suppose it's farewell, Lobo. I will go with the tarnished, so that our journey will forgive me, Lobo. Oh, she's gone. Call upon me when needed, and I will fight at your side. Did she want to go to what? A uh, halga tree? I don't know what that is. When there's a bajillion locations. It's hard to know what somebody's talking about. Have I been there before? Probably not. Oh, Albus is the long, weird neck guy. It's completely possible I've seen it and I went right past it. The name seems familiar. Guess not. Cave or something right here? Well, I don't know. We're going to the inner city walls. Tyler, thank you for the like, Jeeves. Tyler, what you thinking about that draft?
Raise your hands if you saw that coming. If you did, you're a liar. Or you played the game. Future tree dragon thing. I can't lose anymore. <laughs> Tony, how are you doing? Didn't see that coming. Me neither. Not like in the middle of a camp. I was like, oh, okay, there'll be a bunch of soldiers. Fine. But... A putrid tree dragon thing coming out of the air and strapping down and killing everyone in the camp just to kill me. Doing good, how are you doing today? Uh, not bad. Not bad. You know, it started off good. Beat the Volcano Manor. Then I started hunting down, uh... The Ball Bearing Hunters. First one went really well, if you know anything about them. Second one was a nightmare. Um... I'm watching the draft on my phone, or at least I'm listening to it. Kind of look down every once in a while, but not really watching it. Um, so I was kind of paying attention to that for a second. Got distracted, and went against one of those, that ball-bearing guy who kept killing me over and over and over again. Without picking up my 102,000 runes. Which was just short of a level up for me. I was being cheap and not uh, using... <laughs> runes I had in my inventory to just level up quick. It's like, ah, I don't need to do that. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It wasn't fine. I lost it all. And that was super, super depressing. So other than that, um, it's been not too bad. Those things are hard. I got a few. The one in, uh, um, uh, Kaelid. I don't know how to spell it. It's like C-A-E-L-I-D. Can't beat it at all. Yeah, that one just crushing me for fun, too. For fun. He's over there just bagging me. Bagging me to summon him. Over and over and over again. And couldn't do it. So I got the one in Limgrave, the one in Lurnia. I know the last one is like right here. But I don't want to fight him ever again. I'm permanently scarred. Uh, I don't take losing that many runes well. And then I see the people on, uh,. Um, oh, what am I thinking of? Different groups on um, Facebook for Elden Ring. Talking about losing half a million or more. God, I can't imagine the kind of uh, emotional distress you would go through losing that much. Church of Vows, yeah, that's the one I got. Uh, second one I got. War Master Shack and Church of Vows are the two I got. And the one at the Isolated Shack and Caleb just owns me. Uh, he is my dad. There's just no other way around it. So, you know, I just gotta admit. When he owns you, he owns you. Yeah. 
didn't pay attention what that item was that I just picked up. Okay. That's what it was. Happened to me the other day, killed the dragon, then beat another boss. I was going somewhere and got ambushed by a bear and then tried to get it back and died before I could. Oof. 400k? Ooh. Yeah, that's four times as much as me and... That's awful. I felt so bad. Because when I died... Couldn't have been a funnier situation. Like, it's like you roll over, you die. Eh. And then you kind of just open your eyes and you look to your left and you see all your runes just sitting there. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, so I went through all the emotions. Shock, feeling just dumb as hell. Um, depression, <laughs> sadness. But, oh well. I'm just murdering everything I see now in an attempt to uh, reclaim those runes. Sad part is, is like, I can't get over the thought that if I hadn't lost all those runes, I'd have those plus everything I'm getting from what I'm murdering. I can't get past that I never will make up for what I've lost, that I'm only regaining and would have 140,000 right now if I hadn't lost that 100,000. You know, once you lose it, it's permanently lost. There's no regaining. There's kind of recouping and trying to make yourself feel better, but no, no, it's gone. It's never coming back. Yes, but cheers, hold on. I'll cheers to that, fuck yeah. Cheers. I don't know if you dropped a like yet. If you did, cheers. Oh, well now you did for real. Now I have to cheers again. That's how we play this game. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> The game of Cheers is just a fun game. There it is. <laughs> Hell yeah. I appreciate you. Ah, <sighs> necessary. I actually grabbed an extra beer tonight. And now it feels like it was a really good call. Borderline necessary. check out this whole lake quick and then I'll go to the cave are you uh are you having some drinks as well Tony are you cheersing something what, what do you got Just gotta guard this way. Steed, I think it's called. Some mango honeybee. Ah, wow, that sounds delicious. That's some high class shit right there. The Viking beer. Like a mead? Um, isn't that what mead is? It's like a uh, honey? Some kind of honey beer thing?
It's a oh, mead is like a honey wine, not a beer. If I remember correctly. It's good mead. Yeah, that's it. Okay, nice, nice. Um, I've never tried it. Coolish. I had a buddy who's had it before. And I was like, uh, it sounds like a headache in a bottle. And I think he said that it, it can give you a pretty bad headache. So I think I passed, but I should have tried it. It's on my list. Try me. Because that's like the old school shit, right? That's like uh, a couple hundred years ago what they were drinking. Before they had uh, butterscotch schnapps. Oh, probably more than a couple hundred years ago. Probably like, what, 500 years at least and back? Yeah. Don't drink too much, but it's good stuff. So it does taste good, though. Okay. Well, shit, I'm gonna have to see if I can find some. I'd find the right aisle. Or something I knew something was up all right um, give me 30 seconds and I'll be right back and we'll continue Alright! Oh, I'm back? Can I see the same number of people as when I left? That's a cheers, hell yeah. That doesn't happen too often. Appreciate all of you watching. Schnapps is terrible. I think there's some kinds that aren't bad. I'm trying to think, what do I... What do I like? Peppermint. Peppermint schnapps is not bad. I've had that and I liked it. It's definitely not something I ever go out and buy. I think peach is pretty good. Yeah, that is a good one. Yeah, yeah. Um... It's good for mixers and things, but... Look, if you're doing, like, those real fancy drinks, you can do some peppermint schnapps. But, uh, it's just kind of fun to say schnapps. <laughs> I, I don't know why. No real reason. It's just fun to say. Alright, so there's definitely a boss in here. something right up there. Have to grab that quick. Ugh. Oh my god. I thought I was about to screw that up so bad. I'll do peppermint. That, that's about it. Bad experience with the others so the smell still makes me... Oh... Still makes you kind of sick. Um, God, 
I don't know if I have anything in particular that the smell is just a game ender for me. Um, but I know what I used to drink all the time was definitely a uh, bad smell for a lot of people. And that was Southern Comfort. It has a really sweet, strong smell, but if you've ever upchucked on it, you're probably, oh my god, not doing good when you smell it again. Which, I've gotten sick on it before. And it never got to me. Never made me want to stop drinking it, but I have like... Almost an allergic reaction. It's, um... Holy shit. No, an allergic reaction, I have like an intolerance. There's some ingredient in it, so I can't really drink it very often anymore. So I've kind of gone into like the old man bourbon only thing. I get why older people drink bourbon because it doesn't make your stomach feel terrible. <laughs> it's not super sugary. Soko hangover is bad. I don't drink it much anymore. Yeah. Yeah, I can't argue that. The hangover on Soko was awful. <laughs> um. Oh. But, I don't know. I liked it. It was, it was good taste. It was delicious, but yeah. Hangover-wise, it was pretty brutal. I can't even... No argument for that. So now I just try something new, a different kind of bourbon, because there's a bajillion of them. Um, anytime I want to go get something new, anytime I'm trying to have some liquor to drink, uh, and that works good. Oh, I'm dead. I don't lose all of those. I'll be pissed. <laughs> you know what's great about beer, though? You just sip your pain away. Tony, you a football fan at all? You got the draft on? Yeah, I'm playing on my phone, but... Honestly, I'm missing most of the picks. The phone just comes right into the headset. got the, the guy I wanted for my team. Chris Olave. <sighs> Sadness. Not 
like that bell bearing guy in Caleb. There's divine towers all around here, huh? That's pretty cool. Oh, I need to see what it does. Magma slugs? What?
Ooh, a nice double seed. Alright, I'll travel the road back, then we'll do this inner part. Check out this, this. Eventually get everything outside. Looks like you can just go all the way around the city, huh? Maybe. Cheers, thank you for the like again. This place is crazy. I don't know what comfort is in this game, but it's definitely not something you feel when you're here. So not much else going on here. Pretty quiet. Pretty quiet area. Except for... Swooping in bosses. How do those wings even even work on those things? Pure rock. Summon sign. The boss, perhaps? That was it? That was the boss? Waste of a summon. They would trick those singing harpy lady guys. Um, I like bosses a lot. And other than the first one I fought, because I was like way under leveled for it, they have never been that.
The Fook? Where'd she come from? Seriously, where'd that come from? kind of my wall what I want to stay inside when I explore A lot going on here, but it's kind of hard an area to survey. Everything looks the same. A lot of craters. Everything pretty much looks the same. water like there's nothing down there That pretty much rounds that survey. So now we'll go up the hill. See what's going on in this little chunk before the herd tree. Cheers. Defensive Landell, the fell omen stacks high the corpses of heroes, yet the urge remains unshaken. Wasn't uh, Margit the fell omen?
son of a bitch. Super nice. I mean, whatever everything I can't buy a lot of. I'm gonna check out this whole area and then I'll come back and try to take out the ball bearing guy here. Kill him, then kill some more until they're dead. Oh, Jesus. I thought that was uh, one of the snakes. Didn't realize that was a giant skull. some arts. What is this? Please don't. Alright, I'm gonna go back again. I'm gonna be right back.
Okay. Back to eat more shit. <laughs> Fucking skeletons. I wasn't even going to fight him. I was just going to move on and I'm like, I need to fight everything that I wouldn't have been fighting before to recoup my losses. Who would have guessed that would have been the result? But, uh, hey. Here we are. Oh, golems, they're shooting at something. They killed something. Interesting. That urchin's dead. Take on this ball bearing fucker over here. <laughs> I hate these guys so much. Let's see what we can do against them. This guy is already easier than the Caleb one. Come on. I can't take a drink without him getting a freebie. No, 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 no! Oh, first try, eat shit. <laughs> oh. Wow, I can't believe I got him. So, Kaled is officially harder than the exterior of the capital and volcano. Um. Oh, nice. Made it look easy. My hands are so sweaty right now. It's disgusting. 
Oh, hell yeah! Thank you for the 100 stars! Cheers! I was not feeling good the whole time. My first hit, I saw how much health took off. I was like, I got a chance. I could beat this guy. But after that, I was like, eh, I don't know as it started getting down. Once he starts doing that thing where he's just using his mind to whip it around, I get, I get startled. I don't like it. So it looks like you can get into all of this next. I'm gonna take a couple more. I'm gonna take a couple more swings at this guy. I'm gonna burn the runes in my inventory. I'm gonna take that level up I should have had two hours ago. I'm gonna take another crack at this guy. He's the last ball bearing hunter. How many do I have already? 69, 9, 9. Hilarious numbers. Thank you, Tony. That's awesome. Now I'm hoping I can make this guy look easy. For your information, he made me look easy. Okay. What's up that damage? I'm thinking I'm gonna hit him with putrid breath to start. Instant regret already. I don't wanna be in this fight. Can I have a break? Oh, I got him halfway. That is the furthest I've gotten him today. I have nothing to lose because I only had 1,657 runes in the first place. Perfect situation. I feel bad he can't rob me again. Even though he didn't rob me the first time, I robbed myself because I just didn't pick up my runes, even though it's super easy to do. This is the one I can't even get down to even half, I think. That was the first time I did. Uh, he's been owning me all day. Susan, thank you for the like. Cheers. You can pick up the runes before resting. Oh, I know. I know. And then if, once you rest, you turn it to night. It still doesn't mean anything. Merchant's still here. It's all good. You have to change it tonight, rest again. And then they come up. I had all the time in the world. I was watching the draft or listening to it or whatever, and it just, it was out of my mind. Like a big stupid. So he's constantly taking damage when I hit him with that putrid um, shit. So. I think if I can just get that off and safely get away, 
the problem is you can't have too much distance. You need to be close so that he's trying to strike you normally. If you're too far away and he does that distance shit, it is hard, hard to dodge. Not only that, but he will swing like three or four times. This guy will swing longer than anybody else. Does not matter. So you gotta stay close and you gotta get through that three swing, two swing stab combo before you can heal. They're weak to lightning? Anything that well, I'm sure I've got a ton of things that are lightning. I don't even know what I have, to be honest. Got a Dragonite Pokemon card, holographic fossil set 95. Got that. Fires lightning, don't know what else I got. <laughs> this is a funny random thing to have. swing around back to him. I've never been hurt when he pulls it back. I think I can beat this guy. I got so far that first try. I've never seen them do that before either. Right? This guy in particular has done moves I've never seen. Yeah, the three, nah. nah. The shoulder charge with the shield, I've seen it on two, the last two. But this guy takes over half my health when he does it. Pardon my French. I was doing so good. Oh. 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 Okay. I got him beyond half. That's a win. That is a win. I feel good.
it's so hard to dodge. That's crazy. Tyler, AJ Brown to Philly? I think I heard something about it. Got it on my phone. But it's not like actual thing. It's like Yahoo's Chris Collinsworth podcast. It's Chris Collinsworth who's a 70-year-old man and like three mid-twenties kids. And they talk about it, but like all they're doing is talking. It's just like a podcast. And they were saying something about that and I'm like, AJ Brown to what? To where? There's like very little excitement in their voices at all either. Like their excitement's super fake, so I don't really know what's going on. Use buffs? No, not, not really. I probably should. Oh, fuck me. I don't because, like, I don't know, I don't have a lot of them. So I guess my mentality in like every video game I've ever played where you have these buffs is unless you have like so much it doesn't matter. Um, I just save them and I'm like, oh, I'm sure I'll need them more later. But I do that till the end of the game. And then like when I know I'm on the final boss, I will use everything I have. And it's usually overkill. I don't know. Tyler, what do you think about AJ Brown to Philly? Is that crazy? Is that crazy or what? Yeah, I feel like most of the time in this game particularly, I'd be wasting my buffs because I'm just probably going to die again. Uh, my chances, I feel like, are the same between useful items as they would be on... Uh, guy um, <clears throat> on uh, non-reusable buffs. Burks. Who did he just go to? Panda, are you still there? Ryan, you're just coming in to laugh at me? <laughs> Just a son of a bitch, huh? <laughs> Just a fucking monster. Cheers. <laughs> Lucky I'm not on live TV. I'd be way over the FCC swear limit. You got a pretty tool, uh, baton katana that causes bleed? Which one? I think almost all of them cause bleed. Oh, the Serpent Bone Blade causes hella bleed. Let's go 
looks interesting. So everything except for the dragon scale causes bleed. Maybe I should not be using it. Cleveland? Did Cleveland do something? Starts with an M. Masamune. Uh, it's Final, Final Fantasy. Snap. Oh. dead inside that's the first time he's done that combo there's a new combo with this guy every three to five deaths he threw his sword shield bashed which I was dead at that point and then pulled it back which if I wasn't dead I would have been on that third one I have never never in my 14 years of being alive on this planet, seen such bullshit. Just kidding. I've seen more in these games made by these people. But, but this is still up there. When you did the no, 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 reminds me of family. Oh, okay. I at Initially, I thought that's what you meant was Cleveland for Family Guy, but I'm like, oh, but the draft is on. Maybe the Browns did something. Rub some grease on those weapons. I should, but I'm just gonna die anyway. The problem is, is how much damage I'm taking. Oh fuck, I just lost my chance to rot him. I've got some things. I've got some things. Mix this up. I'll make it work. Don't believe that it's. I believe it's magical.
Time on. Time to go full on black ram. <laughs> How is anyone supposed to dodge that? I know. I've never seen some of those talismans. I've just been everywhere. I don't. I don't know where I am. Don't know where I get things. I've been all over the map. But somehow, I think my game glitched. There's one where you do more damage when you're riding on a horse. Not for me. It's supposed to be like by the War Master Shack where I was at the beginning of the episode. Not there. Not available. I got it on my first playthrough. Well, my first character, but not on this one. Oh, look. It's kind of not invisible. What is happening? Why is the lighting showing it? seeing that that was not enough to get him to be poisoned. Buck says he dies. No one would take that bet, Ryan. <laughs> there is not one person out there that'll take that bet. It is a hundred to one odds uh, that I win right now. Because I bet you if I fight this fucking guy a hundred times, I'll get him. But uh would have been helpful if I got my runes first. I know. <laughs> no one will bet that I live. Not against this thing. I'm this close. I won't do it, but I'm this close to going to get a larval tier, change out all of my skills, putting on Comet Azur, and just melting this guy. I don't even have the opportunity to roll. Didn't even let me. I'm spamming. I'm pressing B. I'm trying. It won't let me. I just went from anger to sad so fast. Someone bet against me. <laughs> trying to make easy money. <laughs> am I heavy? I am heavy. That probably doesn't help. Send the last 120 stars if I die again. Alright. Time to not die.
you know you guys thought I had that. I was... Uh, I didn't even know how much health he had. I, w I refused to look away. I was so focused. <laughs> I didn't even know where I died. See, okay, I found it. I didn't know where I was. My eyes were on him and him alone. Duh. Ain't making nothing if I'm betting against myself. That's your right. I thought... I thought I had it. Tony? Thank you, thank you. Makes me feel a lot better. Cheers. <laughs> so close. I'm getting him consistently to half, though. I'm memorizing his moves each and every time. But when he hits me and sends me flying away, that's when I'm the most scared. When I'm not within, like, reach out and touch him distance, I don't feel good. When he can do his sword fling, it's, uh... Ugh. Intimidating. You damn straight getting that timing down. When I'm up close, when it's the swing, swing, stab, got it. No problem. I can do that every time and I know exactly how much time I have to heal, get my FP back, attack, whatever it is before I'm in a bad position. Give me that. Look at that, boys. A little determination. All it took. Woo! Oh my god. That was... That was so stressful. Oh, thank you, Ryan. Thank you. Appreciate you. Finished all the ball bearing hunters. My god, I did not realize how much of a nightmare they were about to be. Do I actually get to do anything? With these? Oh, I guess I can buy 
beast bones and stuff here. So you, you just get like more little random items. ran into them yet? You want to know how to do it? You can run into them basically at any point in this game. They're in four parts of the map. They're at the War Master Shack, the Isolated Merchant Shack, the Church of Vows, and the Hermit Shack. All four of them, all you gotta do is what you saw me do. You uh, go to the grace nearby, pass time till it's night, stand up, sit down at the grace, stand up again, and they'll spawn. And they are a fucking nightmare. The War Master Shack, not bad. Church of Fowls, not bad. They get stronger in this order. The Hermit Shack up by the capital, not bad. Hard, not bad. And that one at Caleb you just saw me do... Bastard. <laughs> I hate him. I hate him so much. Well, the fat man armor works really good. I might just keep this. Lion the Lionel's armor. There's more somewhere supposed to be to get sobering something stones. Eight? There's eight? Oh, I only knew about those four because I watched a, a Tic Tac today. And it showed those four and where to get them. I was like, oh, that's cool. I'm going to write that down. Remember where they're at. Look them up. So there's four more. Really? I don't want to fight them anymore. <laughs> but now that I know their moves pretty dang well, I'll do it. I just got to look it up. But all right. That was the... That was the finale... Benite, the ending. For tonight, that was awesome. He stole 102,000 runes from me at the beginning of the night. I came back. It was more than 102, I'm pretty sure. But it was six figures. Came back. I got him. Stomped him out. And it was worth it. It was just fantastic. It was up to plus nine. I don't remember where they are, though. Oh, Jesus. Guess I'll have to just Google it. Get myself a list. Yeah, pretty much gotta Google and wiki everything in this game because there's no fucking way. Like, Ryan, you were saying you haven't run into these before, but you've certainly been to two or three of these locations. I've been to four of them, or three out of the four. The fourth one was right next to where I've been. I don't know what was the thing. How, how would you know without it being a pure accident? That it has to be night and that you have to get up from the grace a second time so the merchant disappears from the area or the giant turtle or whatever and then an enemy will come and fight you. The, the chances of somebody finding this are pretty low. Maybe one. But then to keep doing this at all these locations until you find them all is insane that people are finding this stuff. How much time do you have to put in to figure all this shit out? I don't know. It's wild. Ryan died four times against the Crucible tonight. Worst enemy ever. I was right there with you, man. The one at the Evergal, I died more than four times. Like right there in the beginning in Limgrave. Probably probably 20 times. And guess what? There's another one at the bottom of uh, Stormville Castle. Um, I can't remember where they are. I've ran into like eight or nine by now, Crucible Knights. I hate them. I cannot stand them. But I've killed every single one I've seen. The only one that I kind of cheaped out on a little bit, and it was a, it was a bit, a little bit of luck. Um, and I actually put the short of it on Instagram, TikTok, and uh, YouTube. Check it out; it's pretty good. Is the one at the bottom of Castle Stormvale? You take an elevator. Well, actually, you take an outside cliff spot way down. You find him, and you can run past him, sneak past him, whatever. And then you take an elevator up and it takes you to one of the graces. And then you can just take the grace down and keep fighting him over and over again. Um, so I fought him to his second phase. He's got a second phase 
where he gets wings. He goes in the air. He has a giant tail. And he becomes a fucking god. And I got pissed because I'm like, I, I don't know how to fight this. I've never gotten this far. So I ran away, got on the elevator, took a drink of my flask so that way I wouldn't die. And as the elevator's going up, he flies up in the air with his wings, swoops across to kill me, knocks me off the elevator. I think I'm going to go down the elevator. But he gets stuck on the elevator's uh, bottom falls there and falls to his death. Crucible night killed. I was losing it. I'm like, what just happened? This guy has killed me at that point at least 20 times. The two different ones I had run into. I was so happy. I never came back to see if he responds. I, I just was like, I'm done. That's good enough. They don't respond anywhere, which is great. Tony, you've had to Google so much. I don't even Google a lot. I, I try to make everything a surprise, and then I'll just randomly be throw, scrolling through Tic Tac or um, YouTube Reels, and uh, because I'm always posting Elden Ring stuff, I see Elden Ring stuff all the time. So if I see an area or something I don't recognize, I scroll right past because I don't want to know. But if it's something I do recognize, I'll watch it. And if it's something I've missed, I'm like, oh, shit, that's a thing. And I'll go back and I'll watch it. And uh, I've learned a lot. I've seen a bunch of quests, probably three or four quests that I would have easily missed. Easily. Had I not seen one of those videos. I don't even know how to Google a lot of this shit. I mean, I guess I could just Google all these random key items and things I'm getting and figure out what they're doing. But I have so many. I have so many things I don't know what to do with. That it would be like a checklist thing. And it seems like every time I stop to Google things while I'm streaming, my viewer count drops, so I try not to do it. And just kind of try to take notes and take those notes with me onto the stream. Because this game gives you nothing. This is, these games are the only games you'll ever play where they don't have a list of your quests. They don't have waypoints for you to go to. There's no memorization or tracking of where you're at whatsoever. It's awful. Awful. Ryan, you've been in those locations? Now you gotta fight them. Now you gotta fight them, man. The one at the War Master Shack's not bad. You should fight that one. It'll be easy. Shield, blo Shield just blocks everything. Shield blocks and parries. I'm watching people do parries on Tic Tac, and it's amazing. They literally walk up super slow, Crucible Knight or whatever, swings, parry, stab, parry, stab, parry, stab, it's over. I'm like, what? What was that? Some people are insane with the parries. Tony, I get lost, but killed a few, shouldn't have. Um, so I def have to do a new game plus one or two, maybe three, so many different endings, it seems. Yeah, isn't there like eight to ten different endings? I don't know. Unless I was to like blitzkrieg my way through the game, and even then I still feel like it would be a really long game. Even if you just knew what you had to do and just ran through it. Because um, I assume you don't have to fight a lot of these bosses. Maybe you can just get to the end boss. I don't know how that works. Um, but it... It's going to take me 150, 140, 150 hours for this playthrough, just being as thorough as I possibly can. That new game plus one or two, still going to be putting in, I would feel like, 20 hours. I mean, there's people doing it in 20 minutes, but they're doing bullshit stuff. I've seen some of them where they like go to a wall and they stab it 20 times and they teleport somewhere else to the other end of the map, and I'm like, Whoa, how would you ever figure that out? So they're, they're doing game at breaking exploits. I just feel like the amount of time you could put in this game to do all the different endings and get all the achievements and everything is just immense. Like, this will take up half your year. You're not playing anything else. You're not doing multiplayer with your friends. Uh, <laughs> you're, not, you're not seeing your kids. You're not hanging out with your wife, your girlfriend. Your mother doesn't even know you're still alive. But you've conquered everything you can in this game to beat it in a reasonable amount of time, which is still like half a year. <laughs> At the pace I'm playing, anyway. At the pace I'm playing. Maybe if you got like um, eight plus hours a day that you're sinking into it, maybe you could do it a lot faster. But oh, who has the time? Who has the time? Maybe on the weekends. But who has the time when you're working? I don't know. But... So far, I love it. I can't put it down. 
I don't know if I'll do a new game plus. I think I might just get to the end and say, well, that was a lot of fun. And maybe I'll just Google and YouTube a bunch of shit at that point, see all the different endings and whatever. But, yeah. Uh, it's just, I'm at, what did it say, 77 hours for this playthrough? I had 13 hours on my first playthrough, and I did a bunch of other characters that I have between 1 and 3 hours on. So I'm at at least 90 hours. At least. It's crazy. Crazy how fast it's gone. Because it doesn't feel like I've been playing that long either. Oh. Man, you try to get the golden needle to cure that NPC. Um, rot, and then the boss just destroyed you. Oh, Scarlet Rot is kind of the worst. There's the Scarlet Rot Lake, if you haven't gotten there, and the underground. It's terrible. I got lucky. I had, it was, I think, one of my best days I've ever had on the stream. I, I had a bunch of people in there that were telling me, hey, if you got this spell, use this. And I've been using it ever since. And I don't know what I have. Other people understand this game to a level I could never. So it's, it's good I have people in here helping me because I don't know what's going on. That's why I run around with katanas and smash things. That's that's how I play these games. That's my level of understanding. I don't <laughs> I don't know all the other shit. Did farm 300k runes, um, where the enemy uh, gave me 1k runes. Nice. I need to farm back my 100k that I lost to that guy, the one I just beat. Because I don't like losing all that shit. I don't like it. I still feel defeated about it. Yeah, I came back and beat him, so I feel good. So anyway, um, should be back on Monday next week, 6 to 9 Central Standard Time, per the usual. Um, I'm going to be moving all weekend. This is the last time I'll be in the studio. Not that you guys can really see it, green screen and all. Um... So hopefully I'll be reset up over the weekend. Got so much shit to do. Got to move in a lot of stuff, a lot of setup, a lot of organizing. Um, so if all goes right, I'll be back on Monday. But that's my warning. If I'm not on, per the usual, um, and I'll do a post if not. But yeah, that's going to be my nightmare of a weekend. And uh Hopefully you guys all have a good one yourselves. Now that I've done that, we can finish circling in the castle walls, uh, or the city walls, and then we'll move into the city next week. There's one spot you get 60k with the gold medallion killing uh, a bird, then a group off on the cliff. I have seen that a lot of times. I don't know where that is, but there's some grace you stand at, and you're on a cliff, and then there's another cliff, dead zone in between. Shoot a bird with one arrow and it comes and falls off 60. It's like 60, 68k if you have the boosters. Um, I would do that. I would 100% do that exploit like two times just to get back what I've lost. Because that wouldn't even feel like work. To get back 100k right now normally, it's kind of work. Takes time. Takes time. So that would be quick. That'd be done like five minutes. I'd get everything back and then some. So I need to figure out what that is. Maybe. But anyway. Alright. Tony, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you. Um, Ryan, thank you guys. Uh, let's do the um, question of the day. We'll uh, do some shout outs after I read the question and the answers. Um, feel free to put your answers in the chat here on Facebook or YouTube. Um, let me know if you got it right. Uh, the question of the day is what is the name of the closest large spiral galaxy to our own Milky Way. Is it the Messier, Messier 83, Andromeda, the Canis Major Dwarf, or Centaurus galaxies? Which one is the closest to ours that is also a large spiral? If you didn't know, space is cool. Space is super cool. The large spiral is a giant black hole, like massive, bigger than you could ever fathom or imagine. It's like a bajillion times the size of our sun. 
in the middle of our galaxy and then all the little lights you see spiraling around are just a bunch of other solar systems like our own spiraling around getting ever closer and sinking into a giant black hole it is chaos it is madness and our planet and all that will cease to exist in a few quadrillion years so craziness craziness tony it's underground um if you get the cloth and did the invasions you're going to market it teleport yet I did some of the invasions. I don't think I did the last one, though. Interesting. I'll have to check that out. Have a good weekend. Answer B. Guess the Andromeda, but don't know it all. Well, I'll tell you guys in just a second. Let's do some shout-outs quick. Uh, starting out with William Dodge. Thank you for the like and share. William Harris, thank you for the like. And staying up with us, even though he had been awake for 30 hours. Can you imagine? Last time I did that, I felt so sick. Um, thank you, Uncanny, for the like. Ed, thank you for the like. Walt, thank you for the like and the 100 stars. Kayla, thank you for the like. Sam, thank you for the like and share. Sam, thank you for the 100 stars for the emotional trauma I endured. Kayla, thank you for the 100 stars. T Tyler, thank you for the like. Keong, thank you for the like. Tony, thank you for the 100 stars and the like. Oh, and the other 120 stars. Thank you for the 220 stars. My man, appreciate you. Ryan, thank you for the like. And Susan, thank you for the like. Appreciate all of you guys. Um, correct. You guys are correct. It's Andromeda. Andromeda Galaxy is the closest one. If you've ever played uh, Mass Effect Andromeda, that's kind of the giveaway for us gamers. But it's not that other galaxy or, um, yeah, galaxies are talked about that much but uh, in anything. But Andromeda is the closest one. And it's the one you will hear about the most. I've heard of the... I feel like I've heard of the Canis Major Dwarf and Centaurus. Never heard of Messier 83. I don't even know how we can see whole other galaxies like that. I don't, I don't know how any of that shit works, but it's cool. Mass Effect is awesome. I love the first one. I love the first one. Second one, I know it's like everyone's favorite, but I wasn't crazy about it for whatever reason. I don't know why. just wasn't into it. Uh, sadly. Um... And then I just never played the third one. I played Andromeda a little bit, but I didn't get too far into it because I played it at release. And if I remember, it was like a buggy mess or something. It was a big fail, and I don't remember why. I had it for free, so I played it. Because on Xbox, you can game share if you didn't know that. Um, so you would like set your home Xbox, your buddy, your brother, your wife, whoever you want to game with. Um, you set your home Xbox to their Xbox. They set their home Xbox to yours. So you're signing in like you're a guest on yours. But whatever you own, you can play. So whatever they buy is automatically downloaded and playable on their home Xbox, which is not your Xbox. Confusing. Whatever you buy is automatically playable on their Xbox now. It only works two ways. And uh, Buddy bought it, and I was like, okay, well, I'll give it a shot. I didn't get super far into it. Oh, Tony, sorry, I missed that first one. From the uh, first guy you met in the game, he's then at the Rose Church. Rose Church. I don't know where that is. We'll see it later. Somebody said that guy was a dick, so I guess we'll see when we see him later. Still haven't finished Andromeda yet. Um, have had it for a long time, though. You know, that's, that's what sucks. When you have a game, you get it a long time ago. Um, you get so far through it, and you don't finish it like a year passes or two years pass you want to go back and finish it's really hard to pick up where you left off you don't know what you have you don't know what you've done what was your progress so for me it's like i have to do a complete restart every time if i spend even like a month or two off of a game i can't go back to where i was i gotta restart so it's all fresh and i know what i've done and where i've been otherwise you just kind of get confused your Dragon Age fan? I really liked the first one. First one was amazing. Second one I thought was terrible. Because it was like in that city. I thought it was like super repeatable. The areas were cloned everywhere. It felt super lazy. And the third one was a lot of fun but massive. And I just never finished it. So I, like after I played the second one, I beat it. 
it was I thought it was really short too I was like I'm gonna go back and enjoy the first one again I felt cheated in that I had to enjoy the first one again to make up for my poor experience with the second one yeah it's difficult to do for sure is second one was lazy I'm glad you agree because I was like ah, I can't I can't with just they copy and pasted so much of the game to extend it it's like they had like six months to produce it which it is ea right so maybe they did um but yeah anyway it was a fun time talking games talking uh space talking all kinds of stuff so we'll be doing some more hopefully monday like i said i don't know i've got a lot of moving and if you saw how many cords i have to make this work it would make your head spin. It makes my head spin. I have two USB extenders to make this work. This is going to be craziness, and I'm not happy to do it. So hopefully we'll see you guys on Monday. Have a good weekend. Um, just don't forget, if you're here for the first time, even after the stream, to drop a follow. Like if you're not over there on YouTube. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Drop a sub if you're new over there as well. Uh, stay fr <laughs> um, Have a good weekend, and stay fresh, cheese bags. Thank <laughs> you.